the Ketaliers faced the Falmouth Commodores at Lowell Park today, looking for a win that would keep them in the race for the two seed with Wareham going into the playoffs. Things were looking up very early in this one as Matt Mervis came up in the first and lined a ball that didn't look too special off the bat, but in the blink of an eye, the line shot had snuck just over the right center fence for a dinger that put Kotuit up 2-0. In the second, the Ketaliers were looking to tack some more runs on when Cam Hill got caught in a pickle between second and third. However, he outmaneuvered the Falmouth defense and slid into third base safely, according to the third base umpire. However, the home plate umpire had been observing the play too, and had called Cam out, but the third base ump overruled him and the final call was safe, much to the disdain of Falmouth coach Jeff Trundy and to the disdain of the Falmouth bench, who all had to be warned by the first base ump to stay in their own dugout without objection. Unfortunately, the Ketaliers couldn't bring Cam around to score, and in the third, Falmouth bit into the Katuit lead with a sack fly from Blake Dunn that brought home Hayden Cantrell for one run. But Arajanu shook his finger and said, not in my house, as in the bottom of the third, he laced a ball to right, and it soared over the fence for a solo shot to put the Ketaliers up 3-1. And with that, Kotuit had their first multi-home run day since July 19th. However, Falma struck right back in the fourth against Kotuit starter Trey Holland, as he left a pitch high in the zone for Matthew Nelson, who crushed it over the left field fence for a two-run shot to tie the ball game at three runs apiece. But Kotuit wouldn't take this sitting down, and they managed to retake the lead in the bottom of the inning as Adam Oviedo flew out to shallow right to bring Christian Robinson home. But Falmouth's resilient offense proved to be Kotuit's match today, as in the fifth, Zach Deloche singled to bring home a runner and tie the game up once again. It stayed deadlocked at 4-4 until the seventh, when Falmouth broke through after Casey Schmidt entered in relief. They managed another sack fly to go up 5-4, and then Baron Radcliffe roped a ball into the right center gap to bring another runner home as he sprinted around the bases for a triple that put Falmouth up 6-4. Falmouth got out of the 7th, and has often been the story at Lowell Park this summer, the slow pace meant this one would have to end early due to encroaching darkness. But despite what everyone at the field thought, the umps conferred with Coach Roberts and then decided to play the 8th inning. Matt Mervis took the hill and pitched fast in order to help his team get back to the plate. He pitched a 1-2-3 inning, fanning all three batters, but immediately after the last out, the home plate ump surprisingly signaled that the game was over, much to the disbelief of the Kotuit dugout. This despicable call to end the game there left Coach Roberts fuming, as he'd now had to use Mervis on the mound for no reason, and because it was utterly unfair that as the home team, they had now missed out on the chance to hit. With Coach still yelling, the umps timidly exited the field, so the final for this one was a 6-4 win for Falmouth. With this loss, it's almost definite that Kotuit will be the three seed going into their first round matchup against Wareham. They will close out the season with a doubleheader tomorrow versus Falmouth. Today, we spoke with Coach after the game and sending you now to his interview and signing off for the Kotuit Ketaliers, I'm Jacob Cohen. Uh, Trey Holland's second straight really solid start tonight where he's just pouring in strikes. How nice is it to have that second year returner who just comes in and throws a ton of strikes when you need him? Well, Trey did a really good job. He did an excellent job. I, um, you know, a couple mistakes in there where he went 0-2 on, on a guy and kind of eh, played around a little bit. Then he walked him and then that extra hitter hits the home run off of him. So, but as far as is Trey doing exactly what I would like every single one of our pitchers to do? Yes, he is. So I'm really pleased with his performance. Nick Gonzalez took home the uh, position player MVP voted by his uh, teammates. How has this season compared to winners of that awards past uh, up to this point? Well, he's the best hitter uh, at bat by bat that's been here in a long time, no doubt. Um, I mean, that's a unanimous by every player that, you know, that he's our offensive player of the year. But uh, he's an exceptional player and he's an exceptional young man. Um, and offensively, he has a talent that very, very few guys have. What needs to um, improve for the playoff start on Friday? Well, we need to throw strikes. Uh, you know, we, we threw strikes relatively well today. But if you look at uh, – there were two walks that definitely scored. And, um, you know, anytime you walk, if you look at the stat sheet, we have about 144, 145 walks coming into today, and Falmouth had 77. And 
everything else is very equitable, and the reason their record is up above ours the way it is is because they throw strikes.